Hey guys, what is going on? I hope you all are doing well today. Elliot here and welcome back to the fragrance well. So for today's video, we're gonna have some fragrances that have sex appeal. And yes, these fragrances are gonna be a little bit centered towards fall or autumn like temperatures, but that's not necessarily the main focus. It's all about the sex appeal. So these fragrances are gonna have qualities such as uh, inviting, alluring, yummy, tasty, uh, sensual, uh, warm, maybe even a little bit dark and mysterious. I think all of these things to a certain degree can play into a fragrance having some sex appeal. And at least as far as the ones I have here, I do think these fragrances do have a little bit of maturity to them. I'm not gonna say younger guys can't wear them, but I wouldn't say that these are fragrances that a teenager would be trying to wear. So as I stated, we got eight of them, so let's go ahead and get right into it. But before we do, please remember to like the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and please hit that bell icon and enable notifications so you can be notified when I upload new videos. Let's get into it. All right, guys, first up is coming from day three fragrances. This is gonna be La Tacita de Cafe. Day three fragrances, La Tacita de Cafe. So the qualities that this fragrance has is going to be, you could say yummy, you could say a little bit boozy as well. Uh, you could say it is warm and inviting, does have a spicy, ambery quality to it. And basically for me, what this fragrance smells like is spicy, boozy coffee uh, with a, Eh, I could say a slight chocolatey vibe. I wouldn't say it goes full blown chocolate covered <laughs> coffee, which I do like dark chocolate in my coffee sometimes, but that's for you know another conversation. I know not everybody's into that, but listen, this is definitely gonna be just considered a boozy coffee kind of fragrance. I know there's a fragrance from Killian that has that quality. I always mix up which one it is, but I would not say that this is necessarily inspired by that. You could just say it's the same style of it, but I know that fragrance has some high sex appeal as well, but this fragrance has it in its own way. So if you like coffee fragrances that have that kind of sexy, warm, alluring nature to them, this might be a good one to check out. Once again, from Day 3 Fragrances, we've got La Tacita de Cafe. All right, next one is coming from Roja Parfums, and we have got Creation E. Roja Parfums Creation E. So this fragrance, I would say this one is alluring and mysterious. First off, just hats off to Roja dove on this one because it basically has a cola vibe pretty much kind of smells like cola and tobacco and really what it is is this culmination of a ton of spices and a ton of woody notes that basically make that cola accord because you know cola in and of itself is not an ingredient it's an accord you use things to make it smell like that and this fragrance has that and then with that at least to me it basically smells like that and tobacco and uh, that's kind of the alluring and mysterious nature of this fragrance because it is different. Not everybody really likes this scent and that is understandable. First time I smelled it, I was kind of on the fence about it and then it dried down because I did test it on skin. And I was like, I get the magic of this scent. I'm gonna add it one day and I eventually did. But I do think this fragrance has a sex appeal to it. It is unique also in a way. I personally haven't come across anything else that really smells like this, but definitely has that allure and that mysteriousness to it because it is different but pleasant. Once again, from Roja Parfums, we have got Creation E. All right, moving on to one from Arabian Oud, and this is gonna be Tartil Gold. Arabian Oud, Tartil Gold. I do think this is the first time I'm talking about this on this channel, but anyway, this is a saffron, rose, and oud fragrance, so that combination obviously is heavily used, but this one, is uh, uses a softer saffron than maybe some saffron or rose oud fragrances do. And also the oud in this one is relatively soft as well. This one makes way for a heavy base of uh, musk and vanilla mixing with the oud-like qualities in here. I think there's a little bit of patchouli. This fragrance is mysterious, it's exotic. It is uh, also uh, very alluring and warm and it's a little bit yummy as well. It does have a little bit of a gourmand dessert-like quality to it. it. Doesn't outright smell like food, if you know what I mean, but it does have that quality, uh, particularly with those that warmer musk and vanillic notes that it has in the base of the fragrance. Really good well-balanced saffron rose oud fragrance. I uh, It, it kind of reminds me of like a bigger brother, if you will, 
to uh, same one from the House of Arabian Oud, Rasala, where that one is more about the chocolate, but the saffron in there is like very sharp and kind of astringent when you first spray it on. This one, what I like about this one is it does not have that quality. It's a little bit more dialed down. While it is a saffron rose oud fragrance, it just does it in a different way, but I really, really like this stuff. And it definitely has an inviting and sensual and sex appeal to it. So once again, from Arabian Oud, this is Tartil Gold. All right, next one is coming from By Killian, and this is Old Fashioned. By Killian, Old Fashioned. I did do a full review on this fragrance not too many videos back, so if you want you know, a more in-depth analysis of this, feel free to go back to that. But this one is gonna be boozy, alluring. I guess you could call it yummy to a degree. You know, It does have an overall gourmand quality to it. Definitely reminds me of an Old Fashioned. It has the a uh, simple syrup kind of representation in here by way of kind of like a honeyed kind of sweetness, not really vanillic, more so of a honeyed type of sweetness, but it's not overbearing, if you will. Does have that quality that reminds you of a whiskey or a bourbon, probably more so a whiskey in this one. Just a little bit of a fruity vibe to it. And when I say it reminds me of an old fashioned, I mean in the artistic sense, overall the fragrance is basically a really nice, ambery, slightly gourmand fragrance. That's kind of the best experience most people are gonna get from this. As is the case with many fragrances from the House of By Killian, they have that sex appeal. They're meant to be enjoyable and alluring and draw people in. And this fragrance is certainly no different, does it very well in my opinion. So once again, from By Killian, this is Old Fashioned. All right, next one is coming from BDK Parfums and this is gonna be Gris Charnel Extrait. BDK Parfums Gris Charnel Extrait. I think it is safe to say at this point that this fragrance is basically a classic with the popularity that it has, how many people love this stuff. I think we can call it a classic. But uh, this one in terms of uh, the qualities I listed in the beginning of the video, what gives a fragrance sex appeal, this one certainly has many of them. It's yummy, it's warm, it's spicy, it is very alluring, not really mysterious overall, but definitely a very enjoyable fragrance that certainly has not just uh, sex appeal qualities to it, but just kind of calming qualities to it. You know, you got the fig, the cardamom, the warm vanilla, the sandalwood, kind of the staple notes of this fragrance couple of other things going on with it as well, but this one definitely has really good sex appeal to me, kind of have has all those qualities, not all of them, but most of them, checks a lot of boxes, and it's certainly a great scent for the fall, even though I said this isn't really a fall list, but these are fall fragrances as far as I'm concerned. So once again, from BDK Parfums, this is Gris Charnel Extrait. All right, next one is coming from Savoir Faire. This is gonna be the Whiskey Rose. Savoir Faire, the Whiskey Rose. As the name implies, this is Drunken Rose. I would say that this fragrance is mysterious, but not in a bad way. But I can't really give it any of those other qualities. It's not a warm fragrance. It's not necessarily inviting, but it doesn't push you off either. Uh, but yeah, it's, it's mysterious because it's just different. At least that's how I experience it. Again, like I said, Drunken Rose, there's a little bit of a supple leathery facet to it, maybe slightly woody. I think there might be some oud-like notes in this and it is very boozy, very whiskey style boozy, and it's like the rose petals have just been uh, steeped into that booze. That's basically how I experience this fragrance. Awesome stuff, I haven't come across anything like this. And again, this one might not be for everyone. If you can get a sample of this, get a sample of it because this one here, it definitely just has a certain vibe to it, but it does have that sex appeal in my opinion. So once again, from Savoir Faire, this is the Whiskey Rose. All right, next one is coming from Rosendo Mateo, and this is gonna be number five. Rosendo Mateo, number five. Most popular fragrance from the house for good reason. This one here is going to be, we would call this one alluring for sure. It, that's, I think that's kind of the main quality that this has. Wouldn't really call it a warm fragrance, but it is alluring, it really pulls you in. That soft, white, floral, pillowy muskiness that it has with a hint of a little bit of leather just to add a little bit more grit to it. Man, this fragrance here is, as they say, is pressure. It definitely just has that sex appeal to it. <sighs> so enjoyable stuff there. I mean, date night approved for sure. And if you wanna have something that's got some sex appeal, 
particularly if you dress the part with the fragrance, this one here will definitely get it done. And uh, now I will say this much, not 100% a fall fragrance, but I do think it has that quality that can kind of make it work a certain way in fall temps. So, you know, use it how you will, but definitely has sex appeal in my opinion. This is the whole point of this fragrance as far as I'm concerned is to be sexy. So once again, from Rosendo Mateo, this is number five. All right, guys, and the final fragrance for this list is gonna be from Initio Parfums, and this is Blessed Baraka. Initio Parfums, Blessed Baraka. Let me give a quick shout out to Bowtie the Fragrance Guy. He is the one I first heard talk about this scent uh, a couple of years back, and to this day, this is still the only Initio I've owned. I do have my eyes on a couple other ones. I do wanna grab them, but in all honesty, Initio as a house overall hadn't really captivated me, so I've kind of just wrote many of them off, but this would be the exception, at least up to this point. I would say this fragrance is sensual and alluring, a little bit warm and inviting because there is this kind of spicy quality to it. Basically, I've got white florals, really nice ambery scent overall, leaning a little bit more vanillic in nature, really nice sandalwood in this fragrance as well. It's relatively simple, but it does what it does in a uh, very good way. Because of how sweet this fragrance is, most guys would definitely say this one is a little bit more centered towards cooler weather, so autumn approved. I know I said this isn't really an autumn list, but I do think this one kind of shines in that weather, but I have worn it in warm weather. All I know is when I wear this, it definitely it does have that inviting nature to it, and I do think that gives it a certain sex appeal. And honestly, if we're talking about the House of Initial Parfums, that's kind of the identity of the house, uh, similar to like a house like Killian, where many of the fragrances are meant to have that alluring sex appeal to them. So once again, from Initial Parfums, this is Blessed Baraka. All right, guys, that is gonna do it for this video. Please let me know down in the comments below what do you think of the fragrances on this list and what are some fragrances you would say have really good sex appeal and you, they don't have to be fall or autumn centered. They can be anything. Just put what you wanna, uh, wanna put because I'm looking forward to seeing what you guys have to say. So thanks again for watching all the way into the end. I really do appreciate you guys. Please remember to be well and smell well and I'll see you in the next episode of The Fragrance World. Have a good one.